Good evening, everybody. I'm Pierre Roberge, the Daily Trader. It is March 12th, and we are going to take a look at a stock that was suggested by one of you guys. So this is the UAME stock. I think that's, this is how it's pronounced. Uh, we are going to take a look at that. Uh, first, I need to tell you that I'm not a financial advisor. I just look at the stock market for fun and I share what I see. You make your own decisions, you make your own research, and let's just have fun. So uh, Udemy, uh, UME, sorry, U-A-M-Y, antimony, antimony. So basically what I heard, and uh, because of one of you guys, or a couple of you guys actually, uh, so, so this seems to be a metal that is uh, required for uh, EV batteries. So uh, the batteries in the cars, in the electric cars and uh, what i heard from you guys is that uh, there's currently a mine in china that is producing this metal and um, and there's this new company in the united states i think that um, that uh, will produce also this uh, material so uh, i will do a bit more research on that uh, maybe this weekend but i just wanted to take a look at the technical aspect of uh, the stock so uh, UME uh, closed at 134 today. It didn't move at all since uh, yesterday. And post market, it's at 132, down two cents. And uh, if we take a look at the candles and everything, so uh, basically, yes, it um, it had the same height of uh, yesterday. So so it closed at the same um, at the same level as yesterday so uh we can really see we can readily see a little uh horizontal uh support uh, resistance here so see so we so we have four candles that are exactly on the same resistance line so this is no coincidence and uh this is also mm, this is also uh this is also touching this uh, candle here. So it means that we had a support here and that support became a resistance and the stock uh, is stuck underneath that resistance um, since then. So let me clean this up a little bit. So basically we had a downtrend. So the stock was in a big downtrend, a little bit like Palantir was, big downtrend. Well, and Tesla, uh, a big downtrend, but then the downtrend uh, broke. So the stock broke out of it, but the stock did not go out breaking out of the downtrend. It just went sideways. Um, it went sideways, which is OK. So uh, basically, we, we can say that the stock is in the congestion zone. So it's going to stay there until it goes down or it goes up. So we don't know yet. So uh, if you want to set an alert on this resistance line, you can do so. I am using a trading view and I like to set uh, those alerts when stock uh, break a, a trend line, either a resistance or a support line. So I've, I've just did that. And uh, if we zoom out a little bit, we can see that um, the stock has been in a nice, uptrend since uh, the end of December. Look at this. It touched this support line, touched again, then went on top of the channel and it touched the top of the channel also on at the end of November. So uh, this really shows that the stock has a big upward channel. So this is great. And now what it did on February 10th is that it went out of that channel and got excited. So if you had been in that stock at that point, you could have made some nice profit. So the stock just got, got excited and went out of the channel and thought it was a big guy. And then it would just back down into it. So it went back down into it and now um, it needs to rest. It needs to rest a little bit. It can rest until this region here. So this is the zone that it can rest in. So it can play in that zone. Uh, it's hard 
to predict exactly where it's going to be in that zone. But when it's in that zone anyway, we don't have anything to do. We want to buy a stock when it goes up or we want to buy a put option on a stock when it goes down. But when it stays in the middle, uh, we, we personally don't care about that. So the stock can just move around anywhere between these three lines, this one, this one, and this one. And there's nothing to write uh, mom home about, something like that. So basically, um, when it breaks uh, 136, then we can start thinking about that. Um, if we look at the indicators, uh, the stochastic is quite low, so uh, 27. So even though the stock is uh, at the upper part of the channel, this is the upper part of the channel, this is the bottom part of the channel. So the stock is at the upper part of the channel, but the stochastic is really low, so the stock does not have much steam. The stochastic is like a accelerator pedal. So the higher it is, the more push there is behind the stock. So I like a stochastic over 50. So now it's at 27. So there's not much push. If we look at the MACD, the MACD showed the, uh, a bear trend, a downward trend on February 26th. So uh, Stochastic is saying, no, this is, this is a downtrend. But the DMI, which is my favorite indicator, so the DMI is showing a bullish, is showing that the stock is still in a bullish trend. So this is interesting. So the DMI says bullish and all the others are saying, well, not right now. So basically, to be sure, we should wait when all three are uh, showing bullish signs or buy signals and also when the stock breaks a resistance. So when all these four things are saying the same thing, we have a high probability trade. It's okay if we buy it before. You can buy it at any point. You can buy it right now. Uh, it's just that there's a little bit more risk that it might go down because there's not many, there, there's only maybe, there's, there's only one indication that it's still in an uptrend. So this is why I say do your own research and make your own decisions. I'm just, I'm just here to tell you what I see. Uh, and then you can uh, do your own research in parallel and mix everything up and make your own decisions. So uh, basically, uh, what I like about this stock is that it's very cheap. So uh, mining stocks uh, can make us a lot of money. Uh, so at 134, uh, we can buy a bunch for a thousand bucks. So uh, this is interesting. So I'm going to keep my eye on this one. I might not do a video on this one every single day, but uh, maybe once in a while. So um, that's it uh, for now. So uh, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Like this video if you like it. Leave your comments about, well, tell me if you want to buy this one or uh, if you agree or disagree with what I'm saying and if you can teach me something that would be great too. We can all learn and I will learn until I die. So I don't know everything uh, and you don't know everything but together we know a lot more. So uh, I wish everybody a great weekend and we are going to be talking on Monday evening. Goodbye.